Okay. I'm just going to say it. Saturday Night Live sucks. It's never funny or rarely funny. It Every one of the skits goes on and on and on, and you just want to put a bullet in it, and they don't know how to end it. I'm um, not the first person to say this, um, but how I long, miss how the old Saturday sucked? Night Live. I do. I remember how the old long, days. How long has it sucked? Oh, uh, decades. Decades. For decades. Right. Yeah. What they've lost. So like Eddie Murphy? Eddie Murphy? I, it ended? Yeah. Oh, that was great. Yeah, those days were great. Here's the problem. Okay, they're not all... Okay, you can look, okay, let's look at, it, look at it realistically, right? Then you're not going to always hit one out of the park. Not every skit is going to be funny. But generally speaking, they, um, they tended to have um, uh, uh, more char- characters that they would create. You know, different people would do different characters. That was in, that was interesting, and it was fun to see reoccurring characters that they were creating. Right. Another thing that was really great, and I'll admit, I haven't watched it forever, so who knows? It could magically be great all of a sudden. I doubt it, but it oh, could no. be. Oh, no, I watched it. It's, it's not. I watched it recently, and okay. I just, every skit I was like this. Yeah, in Seriously. absolute disbelief that they're doing something so dull and so dumb. So dumb. Um, that, yeah, I, I get it. Um, and the other thing is, when they did the, when they, they were doing Sarah Palin, right, they were making fun of her, it all of a sudden <laughs> resonated with everybody. Why? Because they were in tune with the country, okay? They were in tune with what people were, were spending their time doing. I think that the, they become elite, and, and I don't, I don't, mean that in the way that people use a lead to like President Obama's elitist and all this other bullshit. What what I mean right. by that is that they are, they're, there's a special club that is Saturday Night Live. It's become its own institution and therefore it's become fully insulated from the society that it that it that bore it, essentially. So right. I, I, it bothers me that when an event in in um in society happens, right, that everybody may be talking about or something happens, that they don't jump on those opportunities and say, can we look at what's going on in the world right. and make fun right. of that? They miss right. all kinds of opportunities. They're not as topical as they used to be. Ex- exactly the problem. But that's it, doesn't feel, the it doesn't feel live anymore, does it? It, doesn't, it could be recorded like a month ago because it's not, it's not like right on the cusp of what's happening. Right, right. It isn't. Yeah, it isn't. I, and it's not edgy. You know we're gonna get- you, here's the other problem. Back in the day, John Belushi days, right? It could be a little edgy. could push TV a little bit. But we all have cable now. You want to see edgy, go right. HBO, right? You can see anything on the Internet. So they, 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 can't, they can't be that – they don't have the monopoly they once had. So now they have – you just have to be better. You just have to be good. You have to be funny. You have to be topical. You have to find the humor it's the things. It's the writers. Yeah. It's the yeah. writers. Yeah. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All right. All right. Then there was Matt. All right. In Living Color came out. Remember when that came out? Oh, man. Blow, blows away. In Living away. Color blew away. So that's when, yep. that's when Saturday Night became bad. And Living Color was so great. And we got the Wayans family with, yep. and Jim yep. Carrey. That's where Jim Carrey started. Okay. And then that went away because everybody kind of went their own way. And then we got Mad TV, which was okay. Yeah. Remember Mad TV? Yeah. It was okay. okay. Didn't do it. Yeah. But I have to tell you, there's something in cartoon form now called Mad. I watch it with my son. The writing's really good. It's all current day movies. They make fun of. They make fun of everything. And you got Spyver. It's really Mad. It's like right, a magazine right, right. comes to life. Right. And that writing is really good. So if you get a chance to watch on the Cartoon Network Mad, watch the skits. That's how Saturday Night Live used to be. Hit and hit and hit and laugh and laugh and laugh. There's some really, and they don't hit it out of the park, like you said, but Mad in, on Cartoon Network is really, I'm really impressed with how, how they ride the cusp like Saturday Night Live used to for the right. adults. Well, okay, so then the two points that, that that's, that's good, I'll, I'll check it out. The two points, I think, that we kind of agree on is that, that they're lacking in um, character creation and being topical. Those are the two things, and that's why when the Sarah Palin thing came out, right, boom, it was an instant yep. hit. Yep. Okay, it had both those components in it. And that's what they're sadly missing. And if you go back and right. look at all the old stuff, and, and even when In Living Color came out, look at all the characters Jim Carrey created. Look at Men on Film. 
Look at, I mean, there was so many, so many characters. Handy Cat, was it Handy Cat Man? Handy Man. He's handy a Man? Handicap we had the handicap? Yep, he's yeah. all in blue. And I'm moving away, and he jumped out the window. And, and he's like falling out of the window. It was great, it was great. It was edgy. Yes. <clears throat> Yeah, they would. They How would, about the head detective? Wait, wait. Remember the head detective? He had a just a head. Like he goes, he's just a head and two feet. He's like, hey man, kick me over there, kick me to the curb. <laughs> just kick me over there. I gotta go investigate. The head right. detective. That was hilarious. Yeah, I mean, it, it was just silly and. Why did they do that? I don't know. You know what I think? I think it's become too much of an institution, and that you really, it, you have to be on the outside, not on the inside, to do anything edgy and to do anything right. that. That has real bite to it, and comedy needs that bite. You, the the minute that you become successful part of the system is the minute that you start right. to water your your stuff down. I mean, Jay Leno is a perfect example of that. I mean, the, the I, I I watched a piece of the Tonight Show, and I realized that the Tonight Show has become. Um, this is like I know we're going off the subject here, but the but all the talk shows have become basically bring on a celebrity. Chit chat with them. Oh, what book are you coming out with? Oh, what movie are you doing? Oh, what if you if you go back and Dude, look, it's a commercial. It's it one is one commercial. One big entertainment tonight commercial, right? So um, it's a joke. Uh, go back and look at the old um, uh, Johnny Carson stuff. He'd have some old woman, you know. She had her potato chip. Remember that? She had the potato yeah, chip. I remember and, that. And, and she like turned to the side, and he reached down in a bag of chips and, and ate a, just a regular chip. And she turned around like she was going to have a heart attack. The audience remember, lost. Remember it. this? Yeah. Remember this? Yeah. Uh, and he give the he did, he was brilliant. Right. It was and they brought on regular people, and they even brought on stars who didn't have anything to pitch. Going on, right? Nothing. They were just there to visit. And just talk. Right. It reminds me of John Favreau's uh, Dinner for Five. Just a bunch of people from the um, from the um, from the industry sitting around and talking. And you were like a fly on the wall. Right. It was great. So it, I think. And they need to look that up. Five, if anybody's watching, hold on, hold on. Anybody's watching this video right now? Look up Dinner for Five, John Favreau, and watch it on YouTube. It's amazing format. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. But but what happens is that when you're in the system, you everything gets watered down. And when you're outside the system, you can be edgy and you can see it. You're not part of it. Um, I, I just think that's why all these other things sprung up after Saturday Night Live really kind of dwindled. You saw right. Living Color and Mad TV. Mad TV was was better. If I had a gun in my head and I had to watch one or the other, I'd pick Mad over easily over um, Saturday Night Live. It's just it's just so bad now. And it's too bad because it, it used to be great. I, I used to love it. So it's sad. It's time, it's time for it to go off the air. Uh, it doesn't have to go off the air. They just need to go back to their roots. Got it. All right, we're out. All right, dude. Bye. Talk to you later.